it's dry, dry, dry. So let's start. Okay. Hi, my name is Ariel, and this will be my. Let's go this way. This will be my makeup review of Ariana Grande's new first club makeup collection, REM Beauty. So I'm excited. I, I long story short, I was kind of anticipating something of her to do something. I remember someone said hair extension, something, something she was gonna do, maybe clothing, something. But I'm not surprised with makeup because even though she has like a clean, she doesn't do that much colorful stuff. She's very min minimalist and she kind of just clean whites nice lilacs nice purples nice light pinks and stuff like that and very clean face a very clean face so when she came out with the collection i was actually intrigued and i was jeez oh, lord i was intrigued with her collection and i said let me buy some stuff i said let me look at the prices first because sometimes it could be High-end prices or drugstore prices. Just like in between. It's not cheap, but it's not expensive. Let's begin with the first thing I purchased is the lip glosses because my lips are ashy. So let's start with the lip glosses. So this is it right here. Very kind of Ariana Grande, like spacey kind of vibes. I don't know if it's spacey vibes. But this is a lip oh products on your color. Plumping lip gloss in Chuckle. Chucky? Chucky. Forgive me. You see? So I decided to get this color because on the dark skin model, let me see if I can find a picture. It's like a nice, it's not as purple as it looks on picture. Like this looks purple, but it's not too purple on their complexion. So I feel like it has pink hues, purple hues, and Let's go. I'm scared. Damn, my lips are. Oh. 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 Mmm. <laughs> it smells minty. Oh, wow. Purple. I see a little bit of blue. And I wish my lips were ashy. But. I'm gonna do a thin coating first. Um, I just, and let's see. I think it's clashing a little bit with the wig, but I like it. Cause this is, I, I like it. It reminds me of like when I was younger. I'm gonna put a little bit of like a brown lip liner around to see if that makes, see the difference. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of an old school, your auntie lip gloss. So if that's like something you like, like old school a little bit for some reason, even though it's sci-fi-ish, like the theme of the makeup brand is like sci-fi-ish, it's giving me old school auntie lip gloss, which I like. If you put lip liner on it, it's different. I'm used to like um, clear lip glosses, stuff like that. No. But... I actually like it. I think it's just my wig is clashing with it because when I'm looking. It's like purple pink, but more on the purple side. And I feel the tangle, but it's not too much. It's not like one of the blood plumbers that like feel like you're having an allergic reaction. It's actually subtle. Like it's not going to do that. Okay. I'm starting to like it the more I look at it. I actually like it. So I'm gonna add this to my, oop, my the black collection. This is like a summery kind of nightclub-y color. 
I could wear in the summer or the nightclubs. Um, you could go as thin or as thick as you want to. I would like a nice coat because I still like to see like the undertones of my lips, my lip color. I like having like a little bit of a darker lip. Um, some people don't like dark lips. Some people like even like surgery to get that white. But I actually like the undertone and colors of my natural lips. Next will be the highlighter. I got Interstellar. Interstellar. Oh, this one. A uh, highlighter topper, Miss Pluto. Miss Pluto. But if a highlighter is too dark, use it as a bronzer. If it's too light, use it as a highlighter. So that's why I like to stick to brown kind of highlighters to get the feel of it. So this little compact comes in. I thought it was so cute. So cute when I first saw it. I didn't open, open it yet. But Ooh, pretty. It's like a brown copper color. And it has a little mirror. Oh, that's so cute. I don't want you to see my room, but it has a little mirror. Popping on here. Um, I think I should wipe off this so we don't have too much going on at the same time. Uh, there she was. Just gonna lightly. And I already have full face on. I have foundation, concealer, but so this is how it looks right in this area. Um, it's subtle. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit with the clean side and put it on my chin. Can I describe it? It's like a highlighter that's brown. Like it looks like my skin tone. That's been like my foundation turned into a highlighter. That's how I can describe it. Different. I never had a highlighter like this. You see the doop? It's like a it's like a brownish highlighter. And I like the old school makeup like back in the 90s like brandy monica janet jackson Aaliyah, like the highlighter was like their skin like you see the little doop right there this is so nice for like the summer even the winter like to warm up my skin i feel like my face got warmer so on my um cupid's bow let me see how that looks So subtle. I'm just doing my eyes too. Why not? Just mix it up. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be the new girl for me. This is I'm using this all over. My eyes, my You see it on the eye now, especially. My eyes are a little darker. It's like like nude copper nude color and I'm not joshing it because it's like oh i don't want to say nothing bad like i really i'm more impressed than i thought of it we're gonna go to now i'm really i'm gonna get my full review of each eye so i'm gonna wipe this off because we're gonna go to the liquid eyeshadow i have even though it's 2021 <laughs> It's still nerve wracking to get beauty products because sometimes it just don't look ashy. That was my main concern. I was like, is things gonna look ashy? Our last thing is the Midnight Shadow, Liquid Shadow, Milky Way. And the picture looks good. Let's see if it does it justice in live. I really thought it was gonna be some like faded dark blue, but Ooh. so I'm just gonna put it and then blend it out. Let's see.
Ooh. I like the applicator didn't put too much on the applicator because sometimes, oh, I'm using my finger for this. Oh, this is pretty. You don't understand what this is. Oh my God, this is pretty. I messed up a little bit with my crease, but I mean my, dang, oh my God. And that was like two little dupes. I'm going to the disc now. I'm going to the disco. Right here is pretty boy swag. Look how blue that is. I'm doing the other way. And it's starting to dry up already. So it's not one of the liquid eyeshadows that you look like you're crazy because your crease is all wet. Okay, it looks like a mess, but this looks so nice. This is blue blue. This is not like fake blue. You know how hard it is to find blue eyeshadow? Oh, this is pigmented. I will say I was when I ordered this, I really thought this would be some blue, like in some, like not blue as it is. Cause a lot of these companies just edit the color. Your swatches can't be identical, especially the smudge one. I'm like, how do you get the same smudge with each application? You're Photoshopping the color on the swatch. This is God's truth right here. Look, look at all the, it has like blue, green, purple. My application sucks. I'm not a makeup girl. I am, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm gonna rebuy this again. I'm going to the disco. I'm gonna find one. I'm very satisfied. Okay, so let's give a review of each item. So we're gonna start off with the plumper lip gloss in color chuggy. I hope I'm saying it right. Big cat even show. Um, the lip gloss in purple. I mean chuggy. I like it. I would do a light coat. I'm not a some girls would really love this color thick, but I kinda like a light shimmer. I wouldn't have like bold eyes or bold highlight or bold anything. I would just have this as my focal point because this is enough to get your attention. I would give this a seven out of 10. Next, we're gonna do Miss Pluto, the highlight topper. And it's just like a brown copper. Like it's like a, like, like I described it, it feels like a, a foundation turned into a highlighter. Like it's not dark and it's not too light. It's just, this is how you were born. I like it. I like it. It's very subtle. It's very subtle and I actually like it. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 because I don't know how long it's gonna last. I just unboxed this and this baby this baby right here 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 like it's dry it's like dry it's dry 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 and I usually don't go for liquid eyeshadows because it'd be wet and then you get a little crease line in your eye and you look crazy sweating and I sweat so I this is amazing oh my god oh my god I'm really impressed and I was a little bit expecting like a foundation and but I do that with all brands I've been thinking like when Rihanna came out with Fenty I was like oh she's gonna come out with like foundations concealers eyebrows translucent powder she came out with like five things so it's like a tester. No matter how big the celebrity is, they still got to test if this is worth putting more effort into. 
So they're gonna lose an investment and money and stuff and they'll go to something else if it doesn't work out. But I actually do like, I actually do like the products. This review was good, I was hell. Mm. Like it's not as mm, professional, but I'm do a bomb thumbnail and you're gonna like it, maybe. But that was my review of Ariana Grande's first makeup line and I'm actually really impressed. I was scared I was gonna be ashy. I was scared I was gonna be ashy. See it. But I hope you like the review. Like, comment, subscribe. Coming in. And I hope Ariana Grande is gonna see this. But I hope you come in.